civil society, support for refugees and migrants, decriminalizing solidarity and providing humanitarian admission was the title of a public hearing hosted by the European Economic and Social Committee. The event was focused on the response of European civil society to the insecure situation of migrants and refugees trying to reach Europe. The meeting aimed to address two issues, preventing the criminalization of humanitarian assistance and introducing humanitarian admission programs. In regard to the first, panelists did present cases and testimonies of people and organizations punished for offering help to illegal migrants in need of help, such as the case of Michael Lidholm and his wife Lisbeth Zornig, two Danish activists who have been sentenced to a total fine of 50,000 Danish krones or 14 days in prison only for providing food and lift to train station to a Syrian family. The second panel looked into the practices and initiatives to promote access to Europe on humanitarian grounds or via resettlement. Participants shared their views on the European legislations in place at present and made suggestions on how both public and private sector can give migrants and refugees in need a helping hand. The opening session was presented by Pavel Tarantina, President of Section for Employment, Social Affairs and Citizenship of the European Economic and Social Committee. The second panel was moderated by Kristina Pervalescu of European Economic and Social Committee, and the panelists were Alexander Romanovich, Policy Officer at UNIC3 Asylum in DG Home European Commission, Petra Huck, Head of Office ICMC Europe, Celine Francis, Liaison Officer European Federation of the Committee of San Egidio, Sabrina Lenoche, Migration Officer, Red Cross EU Office. And the concluding remarks were given by Christina Pervlescu, President of Permanent Study Group on Immigration and Integration, IMI, of the European Economic and Social Committee. EU reporter correspondent asked Ms. Smith, one of the panelists, decriminalization of solidarity with refugees and migrants was the topic of your speech today. What was the main points of your argument in addressing the panel and representatives? Well, um, I'm a lawyer, so I'm currently working on this case about um, three Spanish firemen uh, who went to Greece with an NGO um, on their holidays to support the overwhelmed um, local authorities in the, in the island of Lesbos in Greece, uh, performing search and rescue activities at sea because, as you know, um, there were peaks uh, between 2015 and 2016 in which thousands of, of, of migrants uh, were arriving uh, in the Greek islands, in this concrete uh, Greek island, um, every day. So, uh, given the fact that thousands of, of people were sinking uh, in the Mediterranean, um, these guys um, with their NGO went to Greece. And after months helping them and, and, and saving lives, um, they've been prosecuted right now for uh, illegal transportation uh, of people who do not have the administrative permit to enter uh, in Greece. So basically, so we understand human smuggling. The problem here is that um, the most basic international human rights and international humanitarian law is not being respected in the EU and uh, with the European uh, current humanitarian framework and also in the national legislations. Um, so my point here today, of course, was to talk uh, with some other people too about uh, relevant cases of criminalization of humanitarian assistance, uh, which is something that we are working for one year and a half now um, to create awareness and to put some pressure to the governments, uh, to the European Commission, to the European Parliament, uh, we've been able to interview the, the, the European Commissioner, Mr. Avramopoulos, um, to talk about this issue. We were in the European Parliament many times, also presenting a petition with the huge support of, of a white majority of MEPs. And well, my main point here has been um, basically um, making understandable for the people that um, criminalizing and punishing European citizens that are just being solidary with other human beings in need um, is not acceptable. It's absolutely not acceptable and that human rights should be respected, uh, the human dignity, the international humanitarian uh, basic principles and that uh, 
what we want to avoid is that uh, people in, in countries that have a, a, a migration influx, no matter if refugees or illegal immigrants, uh, that people don't become scared um, about helping, that people don't stop helping other humans because they're afraid that they might be punished. Thank you.